All right, looks like we are live once again. We live. Welcome back to another Blaze Brave Souls live stream. Yay! Uh, it's been a couple of days, but we're back because the end of the month banner has been announced. And uh, you see it on screen right now, boys. We're getting Thousand Year Blood War for end of the month. So the hype is definitely real. Uh, Meninas, too. Oh my god, Meninas? Finally, Meninas. So um, that's pretty hype. Also, we got Rangiku, which is pretty hype as well. And then we got freaking Yuma Chico, which I mean, I guess it's all right. Um, so we're, we're going to start today by talking about these characters. We'll watch the gameplay. You people can start hating like you always do. <laughs> and we'll look at the stats and skills and you can tell me like how much you're skipping. And uh, then we'll play some co-op or whatever. All right. That is the plan for now. All right, what's up, everybody? Thanks for coming through. Uh, who is here today? Let's see. We got the usual squad. Everybody, the same old people. <sighs> same people as every time. Uh, we got Nexus. Bow is here. Kelvin. Paul Leonard. Uh, Raven is here. Hychum. Black Spider. Uh, Nate. Zaji. What's going on? Welcome, everybody. Mm. Flair is here. Vikings here. What's up, Viking? How you been? Uh, Wong Kenny. Uh, Dan Frizzy Gaming. Uh, Please Ban Chatbots is here. What? What kind of name is that? <laughs> Guardians here. What's going on? Shane Jacob. Uh, Jojo from the Sponsor Squad. Lillian. All right, everybody's here. Whatever. Hakai's here. Not sure if it's worth it. Um, that's a good question. And we'll try to answer it right now when we look at the gameplay. So let's do that right now, guys. Let's go over and see what Oliver... Uh, if you haven't seen the gameplay, it is on their YouTube page. Let's check it out. Let me mute up the game here. Switch to the browser. Switch to the uh, the gameplay. Shouts out to Oliver once again for uh, doing these little videos. Who? <laughs> Who the hell is that? Who's that? All right, let's watch it, guys. Hello. This is Oliver from the Brave Souls team. Today, I'll be introducing Oliver? three characters from the Thousand Year Blood War Xena Summons reinforcements, which will be releasing on the 31st of March. The first character in this summons oh. is Meninia. Okay, let's... Wait, wait, why does he say it like that? He's, you heard the way he says it? He's Meninia. The first character in this summons is Meninia. Isn't it Meninas? Meninas is the way I say it. And that's the way I'm going to keep on saying it. I don't care what Oliver says. Meninia? Who? Oh! Uh, okay, so let's look at the artwork. The artwork looks hype. I'm not gonna lie. The artwork looks clean. Um, I like the pose. I like that she's showing a little bit of thigh. <laughs> uh, her hair is weird, though. Why is it like that? I don't know. I, I don't know. The artwork looks good, though, overall. Muninia is a hard attribute character with Captain Killer. Her soul trait can be strengthened to damage taken minus 21%. So a PvP a character, guys. Normal attack type character who can inflict confuse with all of her attacks and debuff with her special move. Her innate skills are Sprint Plus 1, Long Reach 20%, mm -hmm. and Paralysis Resistance 100%. There's a list with the rest of her skills. Okay, so do I really need to talk about this so much? Um, she's basically, she's a PvP character, 100%. She's got all the good PvP skills. Um... Yeah, all the good PvP skills. She's going to be meta for sure. Uh, she's going to destroy Yamamoto. Orange Yamamoto. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Also, the character model looks pretty cool too, guys. Look, look, look at her. She looks so cute. Okay, let's go. Now, let's see this character in action. She can retain her stamina as she progresses through quests. Look at the way she runs. New soul trait, damage taken, minus 21%. She's like, eh. Skill. Half stamina only, <laughs> decreased damage taken 50%. Plus, she is extremely powerful in Brave Battles, thanks to her skills, Brave Battles only, Persistence, uh -huh. Brave Battles only, First 10 seconds, Flurry plus 1, Brave Battles only, Prevent Last Ditch Survival, Brave Battles only, Ignore Brave Battle Invincibility, and Brave Battle Temporary Invincibility plus 10 seconds. Also, as she has the skill, Low Stamina Damage Boost 60%, She'll be able to keep her stamina at 1 for a limited time while dealing great damage. Uh -huh. Next, let's look more closely at her attacks. Here are the normal attacks. Okay, normal so remember, she is a NAD character, guys, so... Attacks. 
Mad String looks good. Looks like it has good good range. Strong attack one deals damage while pushing forward. Okay. Strong attacks don't really matter that much on this character. Yeah, it's the second strong attack. But it is kind of weird that she has two dashes. Two lunging attacks for strong attacks. It's kind of weird. I mean, we've seen it before, but... Here is the third strong attack. The okay. third strong attack surrounds the character and attacks forward. Finally, a special move. The power. This special move also inflicts the buff. Boom! Boom! That's like a Dragon Ball Z type move, you know, where they... Like... <sighs> and that wraps it up for Meninia. Okay, so, uh, Meninia looks pretty decent. I mean, she's clearly for PvP. Like, she's not going to be much good outside of it. Uh, maybe you could use her in Guild Quest as a side unit during, uh, Melee Captain Week, I guess. And, uh, she'll be good against Epic Raids, too. Um... But in, like, regular co-op, like, IT and stuff, she's not going to be the best. Um, she has no guard break, so she's going to have to break guard. But um, she will be very good for PvP. All right? That, that's, all, that's all I can say. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. And she looks cool, too. I like the way the character model looks. Uh, I like the way the attacks look. The attacks look very basic, but you got to remember... You got to remember that... <laughs> that uh, like. It's not much to work with when you're making a character of Meninus because she doesn't have any flashy abilities or anything. I mean, I guess they could have used her, like, Quincy bow for some of the attacks, but uh, what they did is fine. I'm okay with it. All right. Uh, let's look at Rangiku. Wow. Rangiku, they're really showing those boobs. Look at that. That's, like, such fan service right there. I mean, that's what she looks like in the uh, in the anime, so I guess I guess that's... Uh... That's accurate. That that that's lore accurate. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, she looks good here. She changed her hair color a little bit. Didn't it used to be more red? I don't know, guys. Looks good. <laughs> Those are some big knockers, man. God damn. All right, let's go. I gotta tell you, I've never been a huge Rangiku fan. Not gonna lie, guys. I mean, I I, I like her, but I, I've never been like. She's never been in my top like five waifus. So I mean I mean I still do like her though. She she looks good there. Alright. Technique attribute character with a rank card killer. The soul trait can be strengthened to full stamina only. Increase strong attack damage plus forty percent. Okay. She is a range. It's a new soul trait. Well it's not new. Whose attacks can all inflict lacerate with a special move inflicting both lacerate and freeze. Plus, she possesses the enemy's defeated bonus, which activates different bonuses depending on how many enemies she has defeated. Mm -hmm. Her enemy's defeated bonuses are full stamina damage boost 20% after defeating 20 enemies, and full stamina damage boost 40% after defeating 40 enemies. Okay. The list with the rest of her skill. All right. So here's the, like the main problem I see with this character. It's like so much of her DPS is tied into being at full stamina. So if you get hit. You're going to lose a big chunk of your damage. But at the same time, she has team stamina recovery. So I guess that can mitigate it a little bit. But, um, you know, usually one hit, if you get hit in co-op, it's going to be more damage than you'll heal from that ability. So, I mean, it's kind of it, it's kind of like, it's still good, but I mean, it's still going to be kind of like, it'll be, it'll be all right. Skills. Now, let's see this character in action. She will inflict great damage when at full stamina, thanks to her soul trait, full stamina only, increased strong attack damage plus 40%, as well as her enemy's defeated bonuses, full stamina damage boost 20% after defeating 20 enemies, and full stamina damage boost 40% after defeating 40 enemies. Plus, okay. she can provide great support to your team in quests with a lot of enemies, such as the Limit Breaker quest, uh -huh. thanks to her innate skill, team slash party, stamina recovery. So basically, once she kills 40 enemies, she's doing 80% extra damage uh, when at full stamina. So that's, that's that's a lot of DPS, and she has Frenzy Plus 2 built in, so... She's gonna hit hard. Team slash party, increased technique, attribute soul reaper damage to status ailment affected enemies, 
Oh, and she has SP-80, too, which is, uh... Yeah, she's gonna be hitting, like, a truck, dude. The standout point is that, as she has last rate on all of her attacks and possesses the skill Status Ailment Spiritual Pressure Boost 80%, she'll be able to inflict great damage to enemies that uh -huh. have been inflicted with a Status Ailment. Uh -huh. Next, let's look more closely at her attacks. Here are the normal attacks. Her normal attacks are a string of four ranged attacks. Okay. Looks decent. Now, for the strong attacks. Strong attack one goes forward and pushes the... Okay, we got a beam, strong attack one. It's like the wide one, so uh, that's good. Here is the second strong attack. Alright, the this vortex. Gathers enemies in front of the character and inflicts damage. Okay. Here is the third strong attack. We got full screener. Goes full screen. Alright, it's a pretty pretty standard uh, ranged ranged uh, strong attack hit. Nothing really too much to say about it. It's pretty good. Finally, a special move, Operation Milfui. That special is kind of underwhelming. Not gonna lie, guys. All right. Uh, Rangiku, good character. Pretty strong. Lots of DPS. I mean, think about it. Uh, SP 80, Frenzy plus 2, 40% strong attack damage with a full stamina. You get more when you kill more enemies. Um, yeah, she's pretty good all around. Uh, she'd be really good for Limit Breaker. Um, and visually, she looks fine. So, yeah. All right. Uh, Yuma Chica. Does anybody care about Yuma Chica? Do we have to go over it? <laughs> yeah. Oh! I don't care. Did he even fight in the... I don't even remember him doing anything in Thousand Year Blood War, guys. Has he done... Did he actually do anything? I don't... I don't... Yuma Chica. He tried to fight Zombie Tosh, and didn't he get one shot or something? Or, like, Ikaku had to, like, save his life? I think that's all he did. Yumi Chika is a mind attribute character with Squad Zero Killer. He's so okay, Squad Zero Killer, he, he's um definitely geared for Guild Quest. Guild Trait can be strengthened to status ailment spiritual pressure boost with 40%. I don't he's love that Soul Trait either. Type character whose attacks can all inflict Drain. Drain is good. His skills are Sprint Plus One, Havoc 20%, and Guard Break. Here's a okay, so look at this shit, guys. Frenzy plus three in guild quest that's crazy man that's a lot of dps this with the rest of his skills no. and then on top of that he's got in guild quest 50 percent extra killer and 30 percent extra melee damage in guild quest so that and, and then you have 120 percent uh, sp sp boost when he procs he is gonna freaking be a monster in guild quest dude like, Squad Zero week, it's like, it's over. It's a wrap for Squad Zero week. That's a lot of DPS, man. Now, let's see this character in action. He can deal great damage. But it's like only really in Guild Quest. Everywhere else, he's probably like average. Damage in Guild Quest, thanks to his new skill, Frenzy in Guild Quest plus 3, and his skills increase melee damage in Guild Quest 30%, and increase killer effect in Guild Quest 50%. Since he can inflict Drain with all of his attacks, Learning the skill, increased status ailment chance against heart attribute enemies will allow him to inflict status ailments with ease, which will in turn increase his damage output thanks to his soul trait, status ailment spiritual pressure boost plus 40%, and his skill, status ailment spiritual pressure boost 80%. Next, yeah. Let's look more closely. 120% SP boost is crazy. Attacks. His normal attacks are a string of four melee attacks. Okay. Now, for the strong attacks. Strong attack 1 deals damage straight ahead. That's probably, yeah, that's a good strong attack 1, guys. That's the little beam thing. But it's melee collision. It's Here really good. the second strong attack. This strong attack... Okay, the strong attack 2 is the, the Bambi channeling attack. Amount of time. Uh, that's like a really good attack for guild quest and maybe epic raids, but I don't really like using it in like IT and stuff. So, um, it, it, it's good for some things, it's bad for other things, in my opinion. And it looks, it, doesn't that look terrible, that looks terrible to me, like the graphics on it? There's like no detail, I mean, I get that it's a hole that he's creating, but it just looks like, it doesn't look good, I don't know. 
Here is the third strong attack. Its third strong attack surrounds the character and attacks forward. Okay, so strong attack, strong attack three is like, um, what is it, like a big circle in front of the character? Uh, I guess that's alright. Finally, his special move. Kado number 57, Daichi Tenyo. Daichi Tenyo. Daichi Tenyo! Okay, and what was that? Was that Bambietta? Did that look like Bambietta's projectiles that hits the, uh, at the end here? This? Did that look like Bambietta's projectiles? I swear to God, I, that's what it reminds me of. And that wraps it up for Yumichika. Okay, the special is like, whatever. Alright. Uh, overall, guys, I think all three characters are good. Rangiku hits like a truck. Yumichika is for guild quest. And Meninus is for PvP. So that's the situation. I think out of all three of these, I want Meninus the most, obviously, just for the collection. I mean, I don't really care about the PvP, like the, the skills and stuff. But I do want to get her because she's like one of the, the female Quincy's. So um, I don't care really what her stats are. That's, that's basically my opinion on it. I mean, you still could use her in a lot of stuff, man. Like, um, you could still use her in uh, epic raids. She's going to be good in epic raids. She's going to be good in Guild Quest as a side unit. She's going to be good in PvP. The only thing she's not going to be good at is, like, co-op inheritance trials or, like, stuff like that. And even then, she might be, like, she might be usable because she's, like, super tanky. So you might be able to come up with some, some kind of auto build for her, for a co-op that, that might be good. The problem is, she doesn't have guard break. So, um, I mean... Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of a deal. Well, it's not really a deal breaker, but it definitely hurts her in uh, regular co-ops and stuff. Although she still has frenzy plus two, ah, uh, flurry plus two, so maybe that makes up for. I don't know, guys. She seems all right though. Anyway, all right. So that's the characters. Are you all hating? <laughs> Are you all skipping? You can't skip Meninas, man. You people have been asking for Meninas for like a long ass time, and here she is. I'm hype on Meninas. I don't care what you people say. Uh, Kamen, did you see the point event news? It's not good. It's becoming luck to play because if you don't have the last mid-month units... Uh, no, I haven't seen any point event news. Where did you guys find that? Is it in the news section? Let me see. Also, isn't this kind of a weird combination of characters? Like Meninas, Rangiku, and Yumichika? Usually, when Caleb does Thousand Year Blood War, it's like the characters are kind of like related to each other somehow, or like story wise, they're together. This is just like I'll pick some random characters from Thousand Year Blood War and make them. Oh, he can posted it. Okay, let me take a look. Uh, next is $2. Thank you, man. Uh, Fem Chica and two pairs of melons, forehead covered. You like that. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good looking at Thank you for the donation, by the way. Uh, I, I mean, Yuma Chica's. I'm not a huge Yumichika fan. I like that. That kind of that's kind of lame. I, well, he's kind of lame, I, but I don't hate him. Like he's better than Ikaku, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not saying much. Everybody's better than Ikaku. Uh, apparently, guys, um, you you people are saying that there's something happening with the point event. Let's take a look at the Discord. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. Uh, he can apparently data mine some info or something. Let me see. Uh, is it this? No. Where is it? Where are it at? Maybe it's a, it's gotta be up here somewhere. Oh, by the way, the filler on that banner, guys, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be, uh, the, the Thousand Year Blood War Chad, the red one. The PvP one. Uh, the orange Ichigo, Daddy Ichigo. Ryukin, Ishin, Retsu, and uh, the original Thousand Year Blood War Shutsui. That's kind of a weird spread of characters for filler, man. Like, you got some really old characters in here uh, from Thousand Year Blood War. I still don't have that Daddy Ichigo either. I need to get that. Um... So that's the filler. I don't know what you guys think. They're very collectible characters. I mean, all these characters are kind of out of date now. Well, not really. 
Yeah, I mean, kind of. Sh- uh, Ryukin, Ishin, Retsu, and uh, Shunsui are kind of outdated. But that orange Ichigo is still decent, and the red chat is still viable in PvP. So, um... All right, here we go. Point of... What, what is this? Okay, so this is the point event thing you people were talking about? Um... Oh, okay, I see what it is. So, for every bonus character you have... Uh, you get a little bit... You get an extra lottery. So, the more bonus characters you have, the better your rewards are, basically. Basically, right? Um, I think that's good. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you get the new banner characters, then you get a bit, yeah, the the new banner characters will give you the most, like the last, the the last two banners. Oh, I see. Okay. I see what you guys are complaining about. Yeah. That will be like a noticeable difference. If you don't, if you have like all these compared to if you have like none of these, that's going to be a big difference. Yeah, I see what you guys are saying. What are you going to do, man? We'll see how it plays out. I mean, maybe it's maybe it won't be so bad, guys. I don't know. Better start summoning for freaking Shaolong. <laughs> Y'all better start going in on that Shaolong banner. Damn. All right. So that's the point event changes. Uh, it says also here, lottery reward going to have stuff like times 10 brave characters accessory summons tickets oh wow okay uh point reward has 50 50 orbs at 600,000 five star ticket at 2 million bonus ability thread at 1.2 million uh and and 6 million and a five star accessory ticket at 9 million it's going to 9 millions now oh my oh and and then point rewards start looping at 10 million points. Uh, minus one brave character ticket for every uh, 400,000 points. Oh, no, one brave brave, uh, brave uh, souls ticket for every 400,000 points. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So um, you're going to get a lot of rewards like forever. Basically. I'm sure that the 50 orbs doesn't loop around. I guarantee you that doesn't happen. But like the other rewards, probably. Okay. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes, guys. I don't know. Like, are these, like, is it going to be like the original, like, drop rates and then these bonuses just like apply on top of that? Or are they reducing the base drop rates and lottery rewards? And then you have to, like, it depends on what the change to the base lottery rewards are. Oh, it's looping. The looping in BBS tickets, Cowman. Dude, I've never, I've never gone past like three million. <laughs> Dude, I like finish the point event and then I'm done with it. That's basically what I do. But um, I guess that gives you more of a reason to farm it further now. So, all right. Anyway, shouts out, shouts out to He Ken for uh, data mining that info. Guys, we'll see. Don't, don't nobody panic. Nobody freak out. Let's see how it goes first. Before you start freaking out. Before y'all start hating. I know y'all want to get start hating like immediately. But let's see how it actually is implemented. Before we uh, make any judgments. Okay. Uh, Angie Mango. You don't like this change because they're trying to force people to spend orbs and spend money. I don't think that forces you to spend uh, orbs or money. If you don't want a banner you can still skip. I mean it's not a big deal. Maybe it'll hurt you a little bit for the point event, but, um, like, how, how, like, like, how important is the point event anyway? Like, in my, uh, in my opinion, you do it, you, you do it, you get all the rewards and you're done with it. I don't know. The point of, like, point event doesn't, it, that doesn't bother me. So, like, yeah, I mean, I don't care what bonuses you, you give, I'm still not summoning for Ikaku, Ikaku, Iba, and Shuhei. All right. <laughs> I don't care what bonuses you throw at me. It'll be a cold day in hell before I summon for like crap I don't want. All right, let's um 
Well, it doesn't bother me. Not, it's not just because I've been playing so long, but I mean, I don't think the point event is that important. Like, it, it's important to get the orbs for it, from it, and maybe the five-star ticket. But, like, anything else that drops, I don't really care. Am I summoning for end of the month? Hell yeah, dude. I might go all in for that. Oh, free summon, guys. Free summon. Don't forget to do your free summon. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, you can farm premium tickets. You can farm Brave Souls tickets from it. Oh, Lord. What's up, Trisco? Welcome. Damn it, I didn't get a five star. What am I doing? Why don't I skip it? Um, do we need to go over any of the uh, info on the uh, in the uh, on the banner again? Should we look at? Lo let's just run through it real quick. We'll just take a quick look at the uh, the actual the actual stats and skills on the thing. What do you mean I missed the first? Oh, I missed it. Yeah, yesterday. You know why I missed it yesterday? Because I was I was thinking I was going to save it for today to do on stream. And then I forgot that it's like it resets. That's okay, though. I think I have most of those characters anyway. Uh, what was I doing? Uh, what is this? Spirit Orbs quiz campaign? Who? Okay, what is this? Uh, we're starting a social media campaign to celebrate the release of the Thousand Year Blood War Zenith Summons Reinforcements. Answer questions about the Thousand Year Blood War Zenith Summons, Reinforcement, and win Spirit Orbs! We'll give out up to 100 Spirit Orbs to everyone if each question receives at least 500 correct... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 100 Orbs? Uh, plus, if we reach our reaction goal for the campaign, post found on social media, everyone will receive 10 five -star, 4 or 5-star accessory tickets. Oh, okay. Um... So apparently, guys, there's this social head, uh, social, social media campaign. That's a quiz, and if uh, enough people answer it correctly, we get a hundred spirit orbs. Okay, so we should all probably probably do this. Well, I was reading, so I was reading someone's comment about my forehead. What was it? It was right there, and then, and then I was. I was reading. I was reading two things at the same time. That's why I said that. Because uh, somebody made for, somebody a Charquito called me forehead man. Look, look at the comment. That's what I was reading. So I was reading that as I was talking about this. Okay. Y'all, y'all a bunch of weirdos, man. All right. Uh, how to enter? Follow Bre Bleach Brave Soul's account on X, and then select the correct answer to the question posted on our. Okay, so maybe we should do that right now. Do you have to do all these or just one? Probably just one, right? Okay, um... Why did it be given out after Fort's head? Is this now? It is now. Okay. Uh, alright, so let's do it. We'll go to, we'll go to Twitter. Ah, oh, damn it. What the hell? I guess we gotta do it manually from Twitter. Okay, I guess. I guess I can do it now. Yo, you you guys should do this right now. We can get 100 orbs if you guys do it. Like, X. How do you... How are you supposed to find X? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Never mind. I already... Wait, hold on. I forgot my login info. Oh, is it... The, is, can I just sign in like this? No, I forget my login info, guys. I, I don't remember. I'll do this off camera, whatever. You can tell how much I use X. Like, never. <laughs> I'll do it off camera, whatever. Okay, but make sure you do this, guys. Make sure you do this. Old man cowboy getting mad at technology. These damn computers. I don't know why they got to make it so complicated. Oh, I can do it on uh, Discord, too. I don't know if you have to do it on all social media platforms. I, I think you don't. I think you could just pick one. So, um, anyway. All right, guys. Uh, let me, let me just look over the, uh, let me just look for a hundred, you, a hundred orbs is like a good deal. I don't know what you people are. You, are you seriously hating on, like, on, hating on a hundred orbs? <laughs> you people, if you, if you start 
hating on getting a free hundred orbs, y'all need to like stop playing this game because you're definitely burned out. Uh, all right, let's look at the stats and skills. Uh, okay, here, uh, let me just go, let me just look through it real quick. Confused status ailment, that's weird. Um, damage taken minus 21. So it's like 1% more than a tw than the uh, old da old DR links. All right. Uh, Captain Killer. That's such, that's like, that's like such a small increase. I don't even know why they bothered. Like, 1%? Like, why, why even bother? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you have four links like that, it could add up. Or three links like that. And then the base character has a 21. I guess. Uh, flurry plus two. Uh, but you get flurry plus three in uh, in the first 10 seconds of Brave Battles. Okay. And then you have... Uh, she has Brave Battle Temporary Invincibility too. So that makes her good against strong attack teams. Uh, she can ignore Brave Battle Invincibility, and she can pierce barriers. And then when she gets to, like, low stamina, she gets more damage reduction and more DPS. Um, and then she also has Persistence. So, like, not only is she invincible at the beginning, at the beginning of, um, of Brave Battles, she's invincible, like, right before she dies, too. She seems pretty freaking OP for PvP. Not gonna lie, guys. Yeah. She is gonna crush Yamamoto, Orange Yama. Orange Yama is gonna be, like... is not even, like, viable anymore. Alright. Uh, Rangiku. Uh, this is a good all-around character, I think. She's good for everything. That strong attack damage and full stamina, 40%, as a soul trait... I don't think anyone would ever use that as a soul trait. Unless your character already has, um... No, there's no reason... I mean, the lack of recharge. Sacrificing recharge is just not a good idea. In my opinion. Um... Sprinter, fire and immunity. You got the, uh, rampage type effect here. Havoc, long stride, SP-80. Um, yeah, it's a pretty solid kit, guys. Pretty solid kit. Okay, cool, cool. She's good. Uh, Yumichika. Guild Quest freaking monster. Plus three frenzy in Guild Quest. Damn. And then he's got, he's got all the other good stuff, too. He's got, like, um... He's got the SP 120% when he procs. Um... 50% melee damage in Guild Quest. Oh, a 50% uh, killer effect in Guild Quest. My bad. And then 30% melee damage in Guild Quest. So, yeah, he's basically good for Guild Quest. He'll be good outside of Guild Quest, too, though. So, yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Cool. I think we went over it all. He's made for Guild Quest, but he'll still be good in IT and stuff. Because even outside of Guild Quest, he's still a Frenzy Plus 2 character. And he still has a uh, 120% SP boost when he procs. So, I mean, he's still going to be really good. Um, the only problem is he doesn't have potion or, like, uh, droplets or anything like that. Yeah. But, I mean, they're starting to come out with those super potion links now, right? So, I mean, you could, you could potentially make him a potion character in the future once they come out with those super potion links. So, um, yeah. So, like, for example, you could take that, um, Halibel and you could link it to Rangiku if you wanted to and make her a potion character. You could do that. Or you could just use the Halibel. <laughs> um, but Rangiku's cool, though. So, I mean, I mean, you want to play, like, cool characters. All right. Anyway, guys, that's about it for the news. I think we went over everything. We talked about the, the point event change, talked about the characters, Talked about the social media campaign. I think that's it. Alright, let's see if I have any tickets and then we'll uh, play the game finally. Maybe we should do a, uh, a straw poll. Are you guys going to summon on that? How, wh what do people think in general about the banner?
I think I'm disappointed that uh, Meninus is a PvP unit. Oh, look at that, guys. We got the two characters at least. Incoming 2015. What did I tell you about 2015? There it is. I knew, I knew, I knew it was going to be PvP. I knew she was going to be, I knew she was going to be PvP, not going to lie. I, 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 I never said it out loud, but I had a feeling that she was going to be PvP. Come on, don't I get two? That's Aizen, which one though? Oh wait, that's not the, oh, oh no, Nozomi! From 20, the 2015 Nozomi? Damn, that's an old character. She looks good there, though. I'm not gonna lie. I think her artwork here is better than the new one. Um, Alright, that's it, right? Two? Uh, what did I tell you about 2015? Duh. Who that is? That's Nizomi. You know who Nizomi is. Come on, man. Then Armored Yoruichi from 2015. Oh God! All right, all right. Let's um. I guess let's merge those dupes. All right, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm sad for Meninas, but she will get her Vol Standing Forb someday. Probably, probably. I mean, probably all these characters that are coming out now will get a second version. Like, I'm pretty sure Kang Du will get a second version where he's like using his own powers. And then I'm pretty sure, like, Asnote will get a second version where he's, like, uh, using his own powers and stuff. So, don't worry about it, guys. Oh, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Um, am I merging? Am I merging Nozomi? I'm pretty sure I have Nozomi 5 of 5. Pretty sure. Yes, I do. But I should re-roll that. Nah, I'm just going to sell it. I need transcendence points. Um, and then, what was the other one? Oh, Yoruichi, Yoruichi. Meninus is a big woman, guys. I don't know if she's taller than Asane. She probably is. She is a tall drink of water. Uh... I want to merge this? Like, what's the point? I guess for BP. I guess I want BP. <laughs> I can't believe I only have one copy of this Yoruichi. She's only one. I can't believe I only got that character one time. I'm, I'm surprised right now. Uh, next is $5. Thank you, man. Uh, four, what? Four, what is that? Are better than none? Rukia, for example. That's what I think about. Oh, melons. Four melons. You're talking about their boobs. Yeah, they, they got nice they got nice boobs, not gonna lie. Rukia has nice boobs too. They're just they're like proportional, you know what I mean? <laughs> ah, Rukia has got Rukia is very proportional. That that's what she is. She doesn't have like exaggerated like features. Alright, anyway. Uh, I'm selling that uh, Nozomi. Let me get rid of that. Get the transcendence points. Uh, Cam, that you know, you know, I thought about that. They could have put Rangiku in the Kang Du banner. I think maybe that's what their original plan was, but then they decided to make it a two-character ba banner for some reason. And then they just threw, uh, they just threw Rangiku on this banner. I think that's what happened. Ugh, Lord. Ugh. All right, guys. Um, six foot three. Well, you could tell, like, when she stands next to the other, like, the, the other Stern Raider girls, how much bigger she is. Uh, all right. What are we playing? What am I doing right now? I can't remember. Oh yeah, okay, let's play, uh, I guess let's play some epic raids, guys. Like, why not? 
Uh, purple, purple day. Who's the bonus for purple? Oh, you can bring your Shaolongs. Yo, bring Shaolong, dude. <laughs> How many people have Shaolong? Like, nobody. Oh, hold on, let me, uh... Who? Oh! I bet you we don't get a single sh Shaolong on the, in this run. <laughs> I bet you we don't get a single one. Cause no, like, like a lot of people skipped that banner. Oh no, some people su summoned for Halibel, so I can't say that. Maybe we'll get one. Maybe. <sighs> oh, I should do a straw poll about the new batter. Oh, we got one. <laughs> we got one shallow. He, he looks kind of cool, man. Not even gonna lie. He looks dope. All right, we got the... Uh, should I be writing these, your people's names down? Because, uh... Because I don't want you guys to join too many rooms. Three rooms each. That's all you get. All right, Swotor is here. You, me... Quito. Oh, he changed. Roz changed. Oh, you're not playing Shaolong? All right. Damn. Shaolong has no love. Mitsuru is here. And uh, Roz. Okay, cool. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Are you really not playing Shaolong? Damn. All right. Damn. Zamnus, what's up? Meninas could be late Lady Dimitrescu. Oh, the, the uh, Resident Evil waifu. I know who you're talking about. She probably could. She probably could. I don't know. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, I like tall chicks. Tall chicks are freaking. They're all right. Uh oh, I gotta fix my controller. Guys, hold me down. Hold me down. Oh, we're almost done? Oh, I can't move. Okay, wait. There we go. Oh, I'm on auto, too. Okay. Oh, damn. That's pretty good DPS there, guys. I know it, I know who wasn't doing that DPS. Eba. Eba. All right. I think what they should have done is they should have done Meninas and like one of the other girls third Ridders. Well, maybe this is fine. I don't know. The new banner. I guess it's fine. It's just a weird combination of characters. Well, they you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to like um, s spread out the Quincy's. So like, you know, they're trying to spread out the Quincy's, like, so they can, like, make it last longer. You know what I mean? Um, so they're probably going to have one Quincy in every banner. Like, you know, to spread it out. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. All right, who we got? We got Swotor. That's two for you. Uh, Nexus is here. What's up? Ne ne was that was it, was that again? N N something. I see you all the time. I just I just forget. I can't I can't read that. All right, Roz is here. That's two for Roz, and then Bavaria. All right. All right, let's go. Why are you bringing in Kaku? That, that doesn't even... This is, that's the new one, right? Yeah, it is. All right, let's go. Fine, I guess. And something. Yeah. Well, there's something next to it. It's like a Chinese, it's like a Japanese character. I don't, I can't, I, I don't know what that says, man. Whatever. <laughs> Ugh. What? I took auto off. All right, there we go. Damn, I'm doing a lot of DPS right now. Holy crap, guys. 
Yo, Shao Long is cool, man. You people. He's like cool, dude. Okay, Kaku, that, this is lame. This is lame. Nobody cares. Shao Long is like low key, kind of a cool character. I don't remember that that special. That's in your blood where Kaku is gonna be goaded. He's definitely he's definitely coming. He's definitely coming at some point. I mean, if they made Thousand Year Blood War Yuma Chica, they're going to do with Kaku as well. Guaranteed. But it's probably going to be, like, not going to be for, like, a long time. Because they just came out with that new Kaku, like, last month. <laughs> Did Kaku even do anything? In Thousand Year Blood War? Not really. He got his ass kicked by a zombie Tosh. That's about it. That's all he did. Him and Yumichika both got their asses kicked by Zombie Tosh. Alright. Who one-shotted Zombie Baby? Ikaku? No, he didn't. I don't remember. I don't remember him doing that. I don't remember. How do I not remember that? Zombie Bambi was fighting... Uh, was fighting... Um... Who the hell was Zombie Bambi fighting? Was it... So I don't remember. I have to go... I have to go... Uh, I have to go rewatch the anime. No, you guys are you guys are making shit up. What is that? Your fan fiction that you wrote? Nah, man, you lying, dude. They're gaslighting me. Yeah, I figured it out. I was trying to think of it. I was like, no, dude, that did not happen. I got scared for a second though. I was like, I said, wait a minute, did Akaku do that? Holy shit! <laughs> I actually like questioned it for a minute. Oh lord. Ikaku didn't defeat nobody, okay? He didn't defeat anybody. He provided commentary in the Pernida fight. That's what he did. Uh, okay, Yumi, that's two for you. Nexus, that's two for you. Roz, that's three for you. So you got to sit out for a little bit after this. Uh, Scar is in here. That's two for you. And WoW is here. All right. Look at that. Everybody's got Shao Long. Damn. All right, let's go. Can't be forgetting that Ikaku helped out with Gerard. He did? No, he didn't. What did he, what? You guys need to stop making up these fan fiction stories, man. You've been reading too much Ryogo Naruto. Lord. Uh, but he, I, I will say, he will probably get a Thousand Year Blood War version, though. He probably will. Like, everybody's gonna get a Thousand Year Blood War version. So, um... Ikaku defeated Shishigawara. <laughs> okay, that one is true. But why are you saying that? Like, that's, like, something I should be impressed by. Yeah, Defe he defeated Mo Shishigawara. Oh my God, what would we have done if he hadn't defeated Mo Shishigawara? Lord, that is not like who? <coughs> that is not like a uh, a win that like impresses me. To be honest with you, I am not impressed by that victory. He's not better than Renji. Renji is like 10 times better than freaking Ikaku, dude. Stop it. Are you serious? Even before he went to the Royal Realm. Okay. 
Like, the, the levels are not even close. Renji is, like, the, the strongest vice captain. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got um, Yumi Kuito. That's three for you. You're going to have to sit out after this one. Uh, Bavaria, that's two. Violet, welcome. Uh, Drago, shouts out to my guild. What's up, Drago? And then Hydra. Hydro. Okay. Let's go, guys. No, oh, one Shaolong. Wait, hold on. Let me see this Shaolong real quick. Okay. My man didn't even give him transcendence. Damn. That's disrespectful. Uh oh. What do we got? Oh, you. Wait, wait. Why are you bringing four star? I didn't even notice it was four star. All right. You know what? I don't care. Let's go. Yeah, but Renji's like. Way more powerful than a cocky. It's like just just compare the Bankai's. Like, well, first of all, compare the Shikai's, and then compare the Bankai's. <laughs> Power or not, Renji still lost more. Yeah, but Renji like fought like some really tough opponents. Like, if you got it. And you got you got to remember that Renji had to fight Zyle Opero. Like that's a pretty tough opponent, dude. And then he lost to Ichigo. I don't think losing to Ichigo counts. And then he tried to take on Biakia. Like, dude, Renji fights guys that are way like way out of his league. That's the difference. Ikaku fights people like Mo Shishigawara. <laughs> Please, dude. That's right, Ikaku also lost to Pao Nang Chow, dude. It's like, oh? The guy that people don't even know who he is. <laughs> Chow Nang Pao Ho? I don't even know who that is, man. I had to look him up on Wikipedia the first time I, like, someone said his name. I was like, what? <laughs> no, we're talking... <laughs> We're talking about the anime Pao Neng Chao. Pao Neng Chao. We have a Pao Neng Chao in the chat. Yeah, Ikaku lost to Mask, who Renji basically one-shotted. So... So there you go. <laughs> also, like... You didn't see Squad Zero saying, oh, we gotta bring Ikaku to, to the Royal Realm. But they brought Renji. You know what I mean? Like, Ichibei wasn't like, oh, go find Ikaku. We got to give him proper Bankai training. He never said that, man. <laughs> Can you imagine him saying that? That'd be hilarious, dude. Ichibei comes down. He's like, oh, we must find Madarame Ikaku and bring him to the Royal Realm for extra training. <laughs> Ain't nobody saying that, dude. Ain't nobody saying that. Oh, Lord. So funny. Wait, hold on. Let's do a straw poll. Wait. Um, I want to do a straw poll on the new banner. Uh, okay. The question will be... Actually, let me think. I'll think of the question first. Uh, wait, it should be something like... Are you summoning? Or do you like the new banner? I don't know. Let me, I'll, let me think of the question before I start making a poll. All right, we got Swotor. That's three for you. You got to sit out after this one. Mitsuru, that's two for you. Sage King's here. Welcome, Sage. Uh, Kaigaku's here. Welcome, Kaigaku. And Hydro, that's two for you. Okay. Let's go. Shoo, hey! Oh, my God. This is going to be a long... This is going to be a slow-ass run, guys. Guys, can we stop talking about Ikaku? Like, can we talk about more hype characters? Let's talk for a minute. Let's talk about Meninas. It's a shame Meninas didn't get more screen time in the anime. Although she did kill those random Soul Reapers by throwing a rock on them. That was pretty hardcore.
And then she fought Biakia a little bit. But Biakia like one shotted her, I'm pretty sure, if I, if I recall. She tried to fight Ichigo. Hey, what's up, Sharp Man? What are you guys talking about? Can we cancel it? Uh. Oh. Mugetsu. Mugetsu. There was a. Well, Byakia fought like. Fought like six different Sturdridders at the same time. If you guys remember. I wasn't sure if Meninas was in that. In that group. I think she was in the. She tried to sneak Ichigo, remember? She tried to sneak Ichigo. Didn't she punch Ichigo while he wasn't looking? Oh, what? Now, in the manga, he fought five. In the anime, they nerfed him. Well, have we gotten to that part yet? In the anime? Where, where Byakia fights like five people? I remember he fought... In the group that attacked Byakia, it was definitely Nanana... Um, Robert Accutron. I forget who else. <laughs> I legit forgot who else. Wasn't Basby in that group too? I don't remember. All right, let's let's switch it up, guys. I, I want to do some. Uh, I want to do some regular co-op. Pepe, yeah. Well, he fought Pepe kind of like one on one, didn't he? I don't remember. I have to re. I, I really have forgotten a lot about Thousand Year Blood War. I have to reread it. Uh, okay, let's do uh, it uh, it or extreme co-op. Let's start with some extreme co-op, and then we'll do some it later. Oh, one one thing I've uh, noticed, guys. I've been doing uh, some random uh, extreme co-op with randos, and uh, I noticed that a lot of people have been using. Uh, Using um, um, Roka in extreme co-op. Reread the manga on stream. <laughs> Actually, not a bad idea. All right, we got Nox in here. We got uh, N. N is here. That's two for N. And then Mitsuru. Okay, Mitsuru, you got. You're gonna have to sit out a few after this one. Why are we all using Quincy Ichigo? The hell? You people don't have Byakia? All right, whatever. Next is two dollars. Thank you, man. You're just jealous of Ikaku's hairline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're right. He's got a, Ikaku's got a better hairline than I do. It's true. Thank you for the donation. No, dude, I've, I've been uh, I've been doing random. Uh, I've been doing extreme co-op with randos, and a lot of people have been using R Roka in uh, in these runs. I was like, I, I, I was surprised too. But apparently Roke is really popular. Still, you know? Watch, I'll do a rando run just to prove it. In the seventh popularity, popularity poll, Kaku was the 17th most popular Bleach character. What? No, he wasn't. Stop lying, dude. Well, those things aren't really accurate anyway. Those those polls. So, I mean, you can't really put too much trust in those. 17th most popular Bleach character. Whatever, dude. He was... I mean, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I believe it. Watch this. Well, I know Byaki was in, like, the top five. I guarantee you. I, gu I guarantee you he was. Top five is probably, like, Ichigo, Byakia, Rukia, and then, like, whoever. Yeah, Byakia was, like, third. That makes sense. Kaku being the 17th most popular Bleach character. I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. 
Oh, my back, guys, my back. All right, let's do, wait, let's get this straw poll out of the way. I want to find out what people think of this banner. Are you guys? Wait, the the question will be. Um. Are you hype for the Meninas banner? Is that a good question? Or should it be, are you summoning? Well, let's go, are you summoning? Let's go. Yeah, the individual. Yeah, you could go on the individuals. Yeah, that's true. All right, wait, are you summoning? Okay, we'll do, the question will be, are you summoning? Because that, I mean, that answers the question if you're hype or not. Summoning for, on the, uh, on the new banner. Are you summoning on the Meninas banner? Question mark. Yes, no. Wait, it should be uh, like one or two multis. Multis. And then uh, all in. And then easy skip. Easy skip. Okay, let's see what people are going to say here. This is going to be interesting. Did it work? Okay, here we go. Okay. I, I, I'm i probably going to go all in, guys. I'm not going to lie. That's just me, though. Because I do want that Meninas. And I think the other two characters are, are, are pretty strong as well. So, yeah. Vote on the straw poll, guys. Let me know what you think of the banner. Although, I mean, now that you brought up individuals, that might be the way to go if I want Meninas. And I think I could actually wait for the individual. Is she the first individual? But I wouldn't mind having Rangiku too, so. Hey, Charmaine, member for 50 months. Thank you for being sponsored for so long. <laughs> Boo, girls in the banner. Charmaine, why, why are you so, why are you so like hateful of female characters? I don't get it. All right, we got Sarugi. What's up? Sorry, taking so long, guys. Sorry, I was doing stuff. Uh, Kaigaku's in here. All right, that's uh, two for Kaigaku. And uh, Dart, welcome. All right, let's go. Why are you using that old-ass Rangiku? Oh, Kaigaku must be hyped for the new Rangiku. He's representing Rangiku right now. Oh, she drops on the 15th of April. Huh. Actually, that might be a good thing, because then you could see what the mid-month is, too. Huh. Who's Sur Surugi? Guys, yeah, Surugi's in the room right now. He's playing BBS. Manuel says all in for Rangiku. Rangiku is really good, by the way, guys. Like, uh, like stats and skills wise, she's pretty solid. Rangiku's on the 21st. Wow, that's like a ways off. Man, a lot of Rangiku's got more fans than I like. I think we we uh, we realize, guys. Kelvin. Oh, no, I'm not going in for Yubichika. I Guys, I don't like Yubichika. I don't hate Yubichika like I hate Ikaku, but um, he's still not my favorite. But it's not like Ikaku level of hatred. <laughs> I wouldn't even say I, I, I hate Ikaku. I, I say I dislike him. But I wouldn't say hate. Hate's a really strong word. But... <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What's up, Ahmed? We love Rangiku for two main reasons. She does got big boobs. Alright, let's take a look at this straw poll. What are you people saying here? Alright, thank you for voting, guys. Uh, we have 58 votes. And 40% of the people are only doing one or two multis. 40% are going all in. 
I did not expect that. That's a lot of people. And then 22% are going easy skip. So about a quarter of the people are skipping, which is pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Thank you for voting, y'all. Oh, you know what we should also ask? We should also ask, uh, which which character are you going for? Ah, man, them making Meninas PvP... I think that kind of hurts, like... Like, her desirability. Like, I feel like people don't want her now because she's PvP. You know, you know what I'm saying, guys? Ugh. Who are we talking, guys? Who are we talking about? What are you people talking about? Uh, one bad hair day. I am not that close to being bald. What are you people talking? Do I look like I'm going bald? Well, hold on. I mean, yeah, maybe my hairline's like a little bit like high up there now, but it's not like I wouldn't say I'm going bald. It's the lighting. That's what it is. It's the lighting. That's what it is. Who? Oh, guys, I don't even know who's Surugi. Who's Surugi? Uh, all right. All right. Let's go. Uh, we got the... Well, I got to write people's names up. T.S. Genki. Welcome, Genki. We got Scar again. Wait, Scar again? Or is this your... Oh, yeah, Scar right here. That's two for Scar. Three for Scar. And then Juice Sue's Souls. Oh, he does. You cover. He covers bleach as well. I haven't kept track of who covers bleach in years. Guys, like, I don't even know who covers bleach anymore. I know that the Aranero and Spite cover bleach. That's about it. <laughs> I'm like so out of the loop. My, my bad. My bad. I really should know who covers bleach. I also know um um what's his name. Tuki from uh, Tuki's on Twitch, right? That's about it. Sarugi has ranked 10 or Ikaku in Arena. <laughs> okay, I already don't like him. <laughs> Why? Why are you ranked 10 Ikaku? Tuki does YouTube, yeah. That's right. I thought he did Twitch for some reason. Dave Ron from my guild used to do uh, Twitch. I'm not sure if he's still doing it. Death Smasher? See, I don't know who that is either. <sighs> I mean, back in the day, I used to know who everybody was. But it's it's like, it's like been a minute. I'm like so lazy with YouTube now. I just I just stream whenever I feel like it. <laughs> you don't need people to cover BBS. It's simple. BBS sucks. Damn. <laughs> Lee God's hating on that BBS, dude. But he always comes crawling back, dude. He always comes crawling back to BBS. It's good though. It's good that like uh, I mean that new people cover cover the. Well, I don't know if he's new, but. It's good that people are still into covering it on YouTube. I mean, that's kind of, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. The game's been around for like eight, nine years now. And it's still got a pretty decent presence on YouTube. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's do some IT. Switch it up. Uh... Gotta bring Rangiku, I guess. Okay. Mr. Tomo's the goat. Yeah, but Mr. Tomo's like a lore channel. He's not a BBS guy. He is kind of. He, he does kind of make good videos, though. I'm not gonna lie. Except for that one he made about Shuhei, which um, I disagree with. <laughs> How are you gonna talk for like that long about Shuhei? There's nothing to say about that character. Like what? 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 Are you, he lost a bunch of times, and he like doesn't have Bokai. That's all you gotta say about him. 
How can you talk that much about Shuhei? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Shuhei is Kubo's favorite character. <laughs> no, he's not, dude. Now you're just flat out lying, dude. Okay, we got N. That's three for N. C pandas in here. Man, now I feel bad about not recognizing Sarugi. <laughs> Damn. Stop shaming Shuhei. He was the top Shinigami for his generation. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Dude, he almost died to normal hollows. Do you remember when he was in the academy? Like everyone was saying, oh, he's like the greatest like Soul Reaper prospect to ever like come through the academy. And then he like almost died to randos. Okay, we got Roz. Okay, Roz, yeah, that's fine. Even though you played three already. I mean, if nobody's joining, then you guys can come back in. Stop bringing that Ikaku, damn it. <laughs> Why? All right, fine. All right, let's go. I don't care. Shuhei stayed as a teacher in the... He didn't teach nothing! He was not a teacher in the academy, okay? He was a, just a normal student that people said he was going to be great, but then he ended up being, like, average. He's like a first-round draft pick that's a bust. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. Like, you guys, uh, I don't know how much you guys know about uh, American football, but you remember back in the day they drafted that guy Ryan Leaf? And they said he was going to be one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play football. And then he ended up being horrible. That's like what Shuhei is. Shuhei was like, oh, he's going to be an awesome Soul Reaper when he gets, gets out of the academy. And then he proceeded to lose every battle he ever fought. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? Uh, check, uh, check Kurosaki's comment for the uh, Shuhei feats. I know Shuhei's feats. He doesn't have any. He backstabbed Kaname when he wasn't looking. He barely survived against Fiendor. I mean, what, what, what else has he done? Oh, okay, let me read it. Hold on. And none of those are combat feats that Kurosaki posted. Killed Kaname. Okay, I already told you he didn't kill Kaname. He stabbed him in the back when he wasn't looking. Rizzed up Rangiku. He didn't rizz up Rangiku. Rangiku does not want nothing to do with him. Editor-in-chief for the Serite Bulletin. That's like, that's not even like a real thing, dude. That's like, Serite Bulletin's like, kind of like one of those Omaki things. It's not like a real thing. Lieutenant of Squad 9. Okay, he is Lieutenant of Squad 9. He does play a guitar and ride a motorcycle. Big deal. And then his Zanpakuto is sick-ass Reaper Scythes. Yeah, but he, he, like, I guess the weapon kind of looks cool, but, I mean, he doesn't fight good with them, so, what, like, what, what, what's the big deal? He became Byakuya's best friend? <laughs> no, he didn't! He almost got Byakuya killed because he, like, he was in his way when he was fighting Pepe. Pep Byakuya couldn't fight Pepe properly because Shuhei was in the way the whole time. He had to worry about accidentally killing Shuhei. So like, and then like as soon as Shuhei got healed, he got sniped out by Lilia Baro. So like, what, what? And that was all he did in the Thousand Year Blood War. <laughs> do, you, do y'all remember that 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 uh, that scene where um, Yamamoto is getting hit with Chojuro's Bankai? Like, Overkill's hitting Yamamoto with lightning, right? And then Shuhei's, like, in the background. He's like, oh, my God. Yamamoto needs my help. <laughs> I was like, dude, bro. Yamamoto does not need your help, bro. That shit was hilarious. Like, dude actually thought that Yamamoto needed his help. And then Yamamoto was like, wait. Just stay out of the way. And then he one-shot overkill. It's so funny, dude. 
<laughs> he's literally tanking all these shots and like, oh my god. All right, let's uh, let's do um, let's do a sponsor run. We got to do a sponsor run. Uh, we'll do sponsor extreme co-op. Sponsor extreme co-op, guys. All right, check the Discord for the room number. I'm about to type it. Uh, Byakia is grooming Shuhei to take over his squad six captain when he retires. <laughs> what is it? Man, you guys got to stop reading so much fan fiction. I think it's messing, messing you up. First of all, Renji is going to be the captain when Byakia retires. That's pretty obvious. I mean, Shuhei is never going to be a captain because he's just flat out not captain level. All right, check the sponsor revenge channel for the uh, room number if you want to join. We're doing extreme co-op. I'm going to bring... I think I'm going to bring Roka. I haven't played Roka in a while. And uh, a lot of people seem to be bringing Roka to extreme co-op anyway, so... All right, let's do another straw poll. I'm kind of curious if this is as well. All right. Which new character wait i gotta i gotta put it uh, hold up hold up straw poll we're doing a straw poll get ready which new why did i capitalize that which new character do you want the most and it could be for any reason gameplay the way they look Whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna put Meninas. We're gonna go Rangiku. I actually do I actually do want that Rangiku. Uh, and we're gonna go Yumachika. All right, guys, take the straw poll. I got a feeling it's gonna be Meninas by a light like a landslide. All right, we only got Kurosaki. Okay. Uh, open to everybody. There you go, guys. Stop bringing Shuhei to my co-ops. Oh, my God. All right, we got Nexus. Okay, everybody can join again because, like, there's not that many people trying to play right now. So, y'all can come through. All right, let me see. Let me see this drop hole so far. Yep, it's as I expected. Nobody wants you, Machika. <laughs> 12%, dude. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Yuma Kuito. Stop bringing in Kakus, damn it. Listen, okay, I'm doing... I'm using... Oh, this isn't a potion run. Fine, whatever. You can bring a Kaku, I guess. Meninas and Rangiku are tied right now? They're exactly tied. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought Meninas would win by, like, a landslide. I mean, it's only 48 votes, but... It's pretty interesting. Are you guys ready? Damn, let's go, dude. 24 hours setting up stream. Holy crap, any day now. Let's go. Okay, fine. Bring Shuhei. I don't care. I don't I don't even care anymore. I'll, I'll carry us with Roka. Listen, Shuhei's like trying to get with Rangiku, but Rangiku has no interest in Shuhei. Shuhei is literally in the friend zone. Rangiku wants to get with Gi. That's it. That's it, man. And Shuhei is like simping. See, Shuhei is like literally the definition of a simp. That's another reason why he's kind of lame. He's always simping for Rangiku, like trying to trying to get her attention and stuff. Michi Bane Aura wants... That's not even canon, okay? You can't... Don't, don't bring up fan Ryogun Naruto stuff. Okay? That doesn't, that doesn't count. Y'all need uh, complete status immunity? Here you go. Sorry, I forgot to do it earlier. Guys, I, I don't know what this new word you people are using is. Glazing. 
Like, is that some some more new bullshit? Why why are you people saying that so much? <laughs> yeah, for, first it was Riz, now it's glazing. Oh boy. The English language is just going down the tubes. <laughs> Ryoko Naruto is reading this, by the way. He's gonna steal our ideas. Yo, if Ryoko Naruto steals my uh my BG9 backstory idea, I'm gonna be pissed. Here we go, guys. Glazing, yeah. How do you say? Glazing means sucking up to someone. Yeah, y'all glazing Shuhei then. Y'all trying to like say how good he is and he's like, you have no evidence to support that fact. Y'all trying, y'all trying to make it seem like Shuhei is like a really good character and like, there's like literally zero evidence. All right, uh, guys, uh, thank you for voting on the straw poll. Pretty interesting. Meninus and Rangiku exactly tied at 43% each. Uh, well, 42, basically they're tied. And Yubachika, nobody wants Yubachika. Literally nobody wants Yubachika. 13%. 13% of the, uh, that's actually much higher than I expected, to be honest. I thought it would be like 2%. What is 13% of 61? How many people is that? What is that, like seven people? Well, 10% is six. So it's like seven people in here actually are Yumachika fans. Charmaine, did you vote for Yumachika? Oh, yes, Charmaine definitely voted for Yumachika. Because, um, yeah, she, does, she doesn't like female characters. All right, let's do another IT. We got to get some uh, get some materials here. Oh, we, we got to farm for uh, Yumachika materials. <laughs> Start farming for Yumachika materials. Oh, I got to switch. Yeah, I think I think everybody that voted for uh, for Yumachika was trolling. I'm pretty sure those people are trolling. All right, we got Swotor, Yumi Quito. Oh my god, he's actually representing Yuma, Yuma Chica. And get zero. Let's go. Yeah, Old Man Zan was hyped in the uh, the general chat on the Discord. He saw Yuma Chica and he's like... He was like hyped. I was like, I mean... I guess at least Yuma Chica is strong, so that's fine. You know, he's, he's kind of a whack character, but at least he's strong in the game. He's going to dominate Guild Quest, by the way. <laughs> All fans I get to was going insane when he saw Yubichika. He does not like Yubichika like that, does he? Oh, God. Oh, God. Somebody talk to him. That man needs to get into, like, counseling or something. Like, I don't know. Something, something not right with him. Something not right with that dude. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there's this guy, Old Man Zagetsu. And he likes all these horrible characters. It doesn't make any sense. Like, he likes people like Ikaku, Ishin, Yumichika, Iba. Like, crap like, crap like that. <laughs> Ginjo, yeah, he likes Ginjo too. So, like, I, I, I seriously think there's something not right with him. Literally, he has the worst account in Bleach Brave Souls. <laughs> oh shit! Watch out. Guys, where's the DPS? Okay, good job. It's literally the worst account I've ever seen. Alright, anyway. 
Oh, one of my guildies got the uh, Eber and Max Trans, I noticed. Who was that again? Oh, I can't find it. Actually, let me see. Wait, what the? I can't find my guild chat channel. Where the hell is it? Uh, oh, here it is. The hell, man. Oh, yeah, Shaw Gleezy got Max Trans Ebert. Ebert. That's pretty hype. <sighs> All right, what are we doing? Um, what do y'all want to do next? Should we do Arena? Oh, I have to do Guild Quest too. Wait, hold up. Let me see what we, what what's Guild Quest this week. Duh. I don't think Apache and Biaki hate each other. I think they have a rivalry. That'd be a good fight, though. Kenpachi versus Byakia. Um, What is this? Is there a nightmare? No. Uh, RN car times five. Oh, uh, this will be a good... That Rangiku is probably going to be good for Guild Quest, too. She might be a good main runner for uh, RN car week. Let me see. This is what I want to use? Okay. Alright, I'm just going to do this real quick. Hold up, guys. Kenny, no, I mean, it would be a close fight, but I think Biakia wins that one. Because what the hell is Kenny going to do about Sembo Zakura? Like, he has no way to, to defend against it. Oh my god, I'm like... I'm like so slow, what the hell? Why the hell is, am I so slow? I'm using Quill Hay, it shouldn't be this slow. Why did I just burn my freaking Vortex right there? I ain't thinking right, I ain't playing right. Okay. That's fine. It's good enough. I could get a better score later. Kenny can't be damaged by the pedals. What are you talking about? Yes, he can, dude. Yes, he can. Are you crazy? Sembo Zaka would tear him to shreds. And even if it doesn't, Byaki has got like a million forms of keto he can use. Plus, he's also not bad at regular swordsmanship either. Byaki's just got more versatility. And he's smarter than Kenpachi as well. So, like... I, I really don't think... It would be a good fight, but I don't think Ken, Ken, Kenpachi would win that one. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh... Let me see what my rank is. Oh my god, I'm last. I gotta, I gotta fix that score. Ugh, I'm behind 20T! Nah, fam, nah, I can't, I, it can't be like that. Nah, 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 hold up, I gotta do it again. Hold up, guys. Hold up. <sighs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's get this right. Well, I didn't have a good round last week for some reason. Because I think you need uh, you walk to be good on the, on the last week. And I was using Uryu. So my score wasn't as high as everybody else's. Okay. All right, this is going well. So I think I am doing better than the guild, than uh, most most people this week. But it's my, my last week made me go have a low score, combined score. You know what I mean? 
in the Is that faster? I can't remember. I can't. I don't. Okay, that was faster. A little bit faster. Catman, who do you think? Who do you think wins? Kenny versus Shuhei. <laughs> Are you serious? That. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Stop. Stop with the jokes. You people are going to make me like laugh to death. Oh, I still didn't pass him. Oh, I'll do it later. Whatever. This is I, I don't want to do this on camera because you people get bored. Listen, what are you talking about? Dude, Biakio after the Royal Royal Realm. I don't think you understand how big Senbo Zakura is now. Senbo and Zakura could probably enclose Gremmy's meteor and destroy it. Turn it into, like, sand. Like, you people don't understand how, like, much surface area Senbo and Zakura has after the uh, ro Royal Realm. Okay, anyway. Do we have a miss? Okay, no, we're good. Okay, let's, uh, do something, I guess. Um, I guess I kind of want to still do um, Extreme Co-op, to be honest with you. I want to play Bambietta. Uh, Bambietta time. Actually, hold on, guys. I got to prove something to you. People are using Roka a lot in uh, random rooms. Watch, watch. I'll join a random room right right now. I bet you there there'll be a Roka in it. I bet you there'll be a Roka. Wait, hold on. Not this one. Not this one though. That was like a bad. That was a bad. Uh, that was a bad choice. This next room will have a Roka. I guarantee it. Uh, is that new? Wait, what, what, okay, never mind. Watch, Roka, guaranteed. I told y'all! See, look, a lot of people are using Roka. What did I tell you? Roka right there, dude. What did I tell you? What did I tell you, people? That's Catman's alt. <laughs> no, I'm serious, guys. Like, like go go do some random... Uh, go do extreme co-op with randos. I guarantee you, you'll see a Roka in almost every room. Every room. Well, he didn't give her 20-20-20 because he doesn't want to get accused of modding. You know? <laughs> Catman got the second BBS account open on the second mod. <laughs> Come on, man. You people just need to accept the fact that Roka is an extremely popular character in this game. That's what you people need to do. Damn, baby. You know, the more I think about it, guys, I think that the uh, Candace might actually be a very good autoing character, even for like, like hard stuff, like hard quests, like even IT, co-op IT. I bet you she could auto through it because you got to remember, she's got that 50% damage reduction when she's, uh, I think it's half health, not Candace, Meninas, Meninas, I, I meant to say. Meninas might be actually pretty good for autoing uh, co-op IT. Because she might be tanky enough to do it. Yeah, she doesn't have guard break. That's the issue for sure. But, uh, I mean, it's not like the end of the world not having guard break. It just means she'll be a little bit slower at killing stuff. Well, if you remember, 
guys. Back in the day, nobody had guard break, and we were, we were still, like, surviving, so... It's not like guard break's a make or break thing. Like, you can survive, you can, you can still clear content without guard break. <sighs> Alright, let's go again. I'm saying if you wanted to, if you were a big Meninas fan, you could still use her and be okay. If you wanted to play her in co-op. Try to clear IT with no guard break character right now. I guarantee you I could do it. I promise you 100% I could clear it. If I'm playing manual. Yeah, I don't know if an auto character would survive. But, um... Alright, let's go. Actually, do I want to play Bambi again? Yeah, I'll play Bambi again. It's so hard to decide, man, between Bambi and Byakuya and Roka. Ah, Lord. I need to get Benina's, guys. My, my PvP team is freaking struggling. You know who I'm using in PvP? I'm using freaking... Uh, Yowak, which is okay. I'm using Ishin and the green hair dude. It's freaking, like, it's hard to win with that team. With that combination, you know, because um, the green hair dude, like, is so useless. So basically, you're, you're like, it's like two on three. You know what I mean? Bambi. Bambi's like the best character. What are we doing here? Ooh, you see that? Damn. One strong attack and the boss is just melted. Yeah, Orihime is a, a really good PvP character. I don't have her, though. But if I get Meninas, that could turn everything around. Because right now, my biggest obstacle in PvP is teams that have Yama. And Meninas will solve that problem for me. Caleb nerfed defense so hard. I still use defense in PvP. Full defense builds. I still think it's fine. It's okay. I mean, it, I, I haven't noticed. I haven't noticed that it changed. That's why I gotta get Meninas. I need Meninas. I'm like, uh, let's see. I'm in fourth seat, right? Yeah. So this is my PvP team right now. Ishin. One of five. You walk three of five, and then this dude, one of five. So it's pretty bad, guys. It's pretty bad. I don't know. Who, I don't even know who this is. Like, to be honest with you, I'm like, I forget his name. All my all my characters are defense, high defense builds. Hey, what's up, Khalid? How you doing, man? That's why I'm telling. That's why I need freaking Meninas, because Meninas is going to destroy Yama. Like, let's let, let me let me see. Ishin should have attack first. Well, I'm not going for attack builds. I'm going for tank builds. If I if I went for attack builds, I would die in like two seconds. Um, let's see. Uh, Orange Yama. Will Meninas be good against this character? Meninas has the killer advantage. Um, uh, 
Okay, it looks like they have the kind of similar damage output. Yama's got um, that 10 second flurry plus three as well. He ignores Brave Battle Invincibility. I, I don't know if, if I mean, it, uh, this is not a clear victory. I think the main advantage Menendez has over Yama is uh, the fact that she has that, um, what's it called? That last ditch thing where you stay alive, even at, when you, where you stay at one hit point. That's her main advantage on Yama. But DPS wise, it's pretty even. Persistence, that's it. Yeah, persistence. She does have killer, right? Yeah, that, that is an advantage as well. But uh, Yama's got... Yama's got... Um, what you He's got that increased damage when his uh, when somebody dies. And he's got... Um, oh, yeah, I know about that. Meninus isn't no affiliation, so that doesn't work. He's got a, he's got a, a debuff, too. So I don't know, man. Yeah, persistence is like pretty OP. Let's be real. Persistence is like basically the opposite of um, Brave Battle Invincibility. And, but it's better because you can't even go through it, you know? You There's no way to like cut through persistence. Persistence was a mistake. <laughs> I have definitely lost many matches because of persistence. Like, you have the whole team dead, but the Orihime you just can't do anything against. And she hits hard, too. Like, when Orihime is at low health, she hits, like, so freaking hard. It's ridiculous. Alright, guys. Let's, uh... Should we do some arenas? Do y'all want to do arena for a little bit? Or nah? Uko's DR is basically another form of persistence. Who? I don't even know who that is. I don't even know what that. What, 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 what you all talk about? Uh, all right, let's do a uh, random arena. Bring Kang Do. Bring Kang Do or um, or um, Eburn. Oh God, my back. Oh, this is good. Wait, wh wait. Why are you bringing this? You, this is not a leveling up. This is not a power leveling uh, arena room. Okay, bring a good character. <laughs> Blue Riruka. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Is that the new one? Wonder why? Okay, it is. What's the bonus this week? Is it strong attack? Oh, uh, no. It's, it's, okay, all right. Let's go. Whatever. Let's go, guys. Charmaine's hating on the... Charmaine's hating on the uh, Meninus. <laughs> For no reason, I might add. Although, if you think about it, like, how strong can Meninus be? Like, all, her only ability is, is a super strength. Like, compared to, like, all the other people in Bleach, that's a pretty, like, low-tier power. You know what I mean? Super strength. What the hell is that going to do? All right, guys, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, we're, get, we're against uh, Mitsuru, too. Mitsuru is using Kang Du. All right, so we got a problem. Uh, it's not a problem, but we got a, a fight on our hands. Oh, shit. Where's all the enemies? I need this box. 
I don't know this layout. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this one. I'm nuking this. How come my nuke didn't go through? What the f this, this game, they, they modding. Okay, I got one. We failed the arena mission, guys. Am I lagging? I, I feel like I'm lagging. I need more recharge. Yeah. Sorry guys, I'm try harding. Can't talk, try harding. Where's that? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're getting our asses kicked. Oh, uh, what should we do? Should we chill? No, we, we, we need to kill. We should have chilled. We should have chilled, probably. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Go right. Go left. What are you doing? Stop saying random... Stop saying random things. It's confusing me. All right, that was too easy, guys. I mean, it was close for a little bit, though. It was close for a little bit. All right, I can't move. Oh, there we go. I can move. Oh my god, I was hogging all the boxes. Look at me, I'm plus 10. I'm plus 10 right now. I don't think I've ever done that that uh, map. Oh, we're not going to be able to see the stat screen. Lame. I, I, I probably did get MVP. So I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I know I got MVP. Okay. Unknown error. But can I get out of here, though? Okay, I can't get out of here. I got to close the game. Yeah, that, that, it, that has been like that for a long time. Uh, were any of you guys uh, able to see the uh, the end screen? Was I MVP? That's why no one plays Arena. But whatever, man. You people weren't playing Arena even before that. <laughs> Don't act like you were playing Arena and then you stopped playing Arena because of that glitch. <laughs> that is not why. That's not why people play. Don't play Arena. Wonder Voice was not MVP, dude. There's no freaking way. I was MVP. Against Kang Du? Now people don't play Arena because they just don't like the game the game mode. That's what they don't that's why they don't play Arena. Although I I don't mind Arena. I think it's kind of fun actually. Um I used to play it a lot more. Back in the back when it was new. <sighs> All right, guys. Anyway, I think we're gonna be wrap it up for today. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Um, thank y'all for coming through, hanging out. Get hype for Meninas! Oh my God, I'm so hype. I'm just hyped that she's in the game, even though she's PvP. I mean, Yuma Chica, kind of like, I'm not that hype about that. But I'm hype uh, on two of the three characters. So I think it's going to be a good banner. I'm definitely going in. So, yeah. Actually, let me look at that Meninas individual. We'll see how the point event changes work out, guys. 
I'm not too concerned about it right now. We'll see what we'll see what it is actually when they drop the point event update. Um, where is it? Get it. Uh, when will Sinkaimon return? Sinkaimon's uh, the the second Tuesday of every month, right? Isn't isn't that what it is, guys? Second Tuesday of every month, something like that. The, it's, it's it's something like that. So like April like eighth or something like that. Switch to Persona. <laughs> I can't, dude. I'm too old, man. I can't stream that that long. Like two hours is like my limit. And then I gotta go take a nap. Alright, Menina's individual is on April 15th. And it's got Orange Yama, Shinji, and Rose. This is actually not a bad banner. The Menina's individual is pretty decent. Oh, it's the, it's the fifth of every month. Okay, so whoever was asking, Senkaimon is on the fifth of every month. These fillers are not bad. This Shinji is actually pretty good. And uh, this Rose is a 30 normal attack link. So, Yama, uh, Yama's not even bad either. He's a droplet character. Rangiku individual has... Um, Man, it's, it's... Blonde Rangiku is weird looking. I'm, like, not used to it. Uh, he's got Stark. That Stark's terrible. Kid Gein is, like, whatever. That Nelia is actually pretty decent, though. She's a normal attack, uh... Normal attacker. Range normal attack. She doesn't have guard break, though, I don't think. I think she does not have guard break. Right? That Nelia... That was her weakness. Yeah. This Neliel does not have guard break. But she does have ranged flurry. And hit hidden enemies. And let's see. The Yumachika individual. I mean, nobody really cares about this banner anyway. <laughs> Yumachika individual. All right. Ah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching tonight. Um, the next stream will be Persona 3, probably, or Project Zomboid. One of those one of those two games will be on the second channel or on Twitch. Um, probably tomorrow, if I can make it. Tomorrow or the day after. So, And then we'll be back on BBS for the banner. Oh, my God. The, the Meninas banner. Oh, my God. The more I think about it, the more hype I'm getting. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, have a great evening. Stay safe, and uh, I'll see you on Persona 3 or in a couple of days for the Meninas banner. All right? Get hype. Oh, my God. Meninas. Bye, guys. Bye.